everybody it's the wanda michelle welcome back to my channel where we do everything fun fashion and lifestyle i just wanted you guys to come back on and see some of my favorite winter must-haves so i guess they're pretty much essential for me because I, I always buy them every winter and there's a couple more things that i just added to it but i want you guys to see some of the things that i use and i'm gonna tell you why i use it but before that i know you guys notice a little bit of something different well here let me turn the camera around well i updated my background for christmas and i guess since i'm showing you guys this i can also show you guys my workspace for filming and everything like that well here is the credenza I got all the candles and everything stored in there and the decorations that was on there before. This is my winter, well, my winter. <laughs> this is the winter essential video, but this isn't my winter chair. This is the chair that I sit in when I'm doing my videos. I love yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite, favorite colors. Um, well, it is my favorite color. I like a lot of different colors. Over here, this is the little, little stool. You can plug it in like your uh, video equipment or whatever you, um, I normally had that sitting right in front of me here. And this is where I um, pick up like the candles or show you guys the shoes so that I don't be bending over and picking up stuff in the middle of the video. Over here, I got some boxes and stuff and I went to a seminar and uh, they gave me a whole lot of, you know, free things in there. I just threw it there because this is kind of like the office in, the, in my home. Um, this is my grandbaby. He just turned one in September. This is his Christmas gift. My goddaughter got a few things over there for Christmas. Um, and while I'm getting ready for this video, I'm just going to keep it keep it real. I'm just going to uh, show you guys exactly some of the things that I'm going over for my winter favorites. And this uh my winter essentials. So here is some of the things that I'm going to be going over. You know what? Let me do this real quick. So recently i did order a um like a clothing rack so that i can hang up the things on while i'm trying to uh style them or show you guys but the one i got in it was not it wasn't it wasn't working for me so i did send it back so that's why everything is pretty much on the floor right now so um turn this back over so yeah um i'm doing another video which is not this one I'm doing another video for next week, which is going to be my Express and Banana Republic haul. So here's some of the things that I got for from Express. This coat is to die for. Y'all will see more in that. And the jeans and sweaters from Express. But I have more stuff over at um in my room from Banana Republic. So here I am. Here's the lighting. This is the camera that I use to vlog. I'm not a fan of it, but everybody, you know, raved about this camera. So I ran out and bought, bought it. It's the Sony ZV-1. And, and maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I, I don't know. I like the camera, but I don't know how to work the camera. So that could possibly be so it. So next I want to show you guys some of my favorite things to accessorize with. And those are scarves. I love to wear scarves during the winter months, especially when it's really cold. I love to wrap up on them. Sometimes I have them around my head and my neck, depending on how the weather is. But yeah, I want to show you some of the ones that I've been wearing for years and some of the ones that I recently picked up. So here we go. Okay, so this is my newest scarf. I got this one from over at, um, uh, where is it? I got this one from over at American Eagle. It is so thick and it is so soft. The only thing that I don't like about it is it is going to shit. I can tell. I also got this one. I got this one last year. I picked that up over at Discovery. I was out shopping for someone for Christmas and I seen that scarf and it was only like $5 in this it's a scarf, but it's like mostly a, um, a shawl, but I just wear it, wrap it around as a scarf. And it is so pretty. It literally screams Christmas. This is my favorite scarf and it's from Burberry. And it's not my favorite because it's from Burberry or because it has my initials. It is my favorite because my son actually purchased that for me for Christmas. And that was a big thing for me. I love to get scarves that have, are full of color like this one here. I like the purple one too, because you can put that in with any kind of 
coat or a jacket or things like that. I think that these are very versatile and you can pretty much wear them with anything. This is a newer one I just got from H&M. This scarf is so super cute. You can wear it with your tans, your winter whites, anything like that. I'm telling you, what an amazing find because it wasn't even that expensive. This one also is new and I got this one over at H&M too, which was a steal. I love, love, love that blue and that orange together. Kind of make you feel like the bears. And then it, the brown too. I didn't even really notice that. I thought that was more of a black, but it is brown. Really pretty. Um... Like I said, yellow is my favorite color. So that right there really stands out, especially if you got on a black coat or I don't know, maybe this next coat that I'm going to show you guys in the next video, I'll pair it with that one. This blue is so super cute. It's so bold. That's what I like about this one. It is so bold. But this one here, let me tell you about this one. This scarf actually came from Paris. A friend of mine went on vacation back in 2012 and she brought this scarf back to me and boy, it still has the same color. It's so, so super pretty. That olive green, the oranges, I love fall and winter colors. They always seem to just pop. And this marigold color here, oh my gosh. I think this one came from H&M too. H&M got the best scarves. I used to really like to get scarves from Zara. But you got to catch them at the end of the season when they on sale because Zara is ridiculously expensive these days. But one of the other things I want to share with you guys are the winter socks. Especially if you're wearing boots, you want to have a nice pair of boot socks. And these are all oh, super cute. I know you guys know where these came from. I don't even have to say H&M $12 socks. They always at the register every year. But these ones too came from H&M. And I thought they were so cute because of how soft they are and that little fuzzy material but I'm gonna let me tell you a little secret I used to hate these socks my kids would always buy them and I would give them to my daughter I never liked because they were so soft and they made my feet feel funny in them but I actually got a pair for Christmas last year and I just fell in love with them now this is the one I want to show you look at that it has an L on it a co-worker of mine Carmelita hey girl how are you well Carmelita bought me these socks and they have my initial on it. I don't know. I guess I'm just a girly girl or whatever because I love things that's bedazzled and has like my initials that represent me. And I thought that I was going to be sliding all over the house because I got hardwood floors in the main areas. But they have the little grips at the bottom. So that's a plus too. I really like those socks. While I was over at um, American Eagle, I picked up, what did I get? I picked up a, two pair of pants. And I got the scarf, the boots, and then they gifted this throw to me for free, which is also on my winter essential list. And the reason being is every Sunday, my boyfriend and I, we go to the movies a Sunday evening when, when I'm not working or he's not working, we go anyway. So I always like to take a throw with me. Even in the summer, I take a throw with me and I just cozy up in the reclining chairs at the theater and I watch the movie while eating my snuck in popcorn or whatever I tend to bring with me but yeah I was really happy to get this one for free I think you had to make a purchase of a hundred dollars and this was right before Thanksgiving so I don't know if this sale is still going on um I went over to dry goods and I picked up this hat I was going just going to see what they had in there because I seen a lot of people coming in and out and I had never purchased anything from dry goods but I got something else to show you guys a little later on this video but yeah this is hat is pretty I want to go over some of the body care essentials that I always use every winter. One I just added, a couple of them I just added actually, but I want to try them out and I'll let you guys know exactly how they are as well. But um, I'm going to turn the camera around and then we're going to go through them one by one. Okay, so the first one that I'll have to is a must have and that is the Dove. So this Dove uh, is dermatology recommended. They say the number one dermatologist recommended soap. I don't use it because of the market employee. I use it because this is the soap my grandmother always used. She never swayed away from Dove. And if she did, which I don't believe she ever did, she quickly went back to it. So growing up, I know that Dove was like an essential in our household. But when I went into school, I, re I can remember in our biology courses teaching us that Dove was the closest to the human pH. So it didn't make it too acidic and it didn't make it too um, 
alkaline, which it just made it just right so that, you know, it prevent helps prevent like you contracting any kind of skin infections or things like that. So I always keep Dove around in the house. Don't get me wrong. I'm a girly girl and I really love the way things smell. This is one of the best smelling uh, bath soaps. And this is the Caress Daily Silk White Peach and Orange Blossom. I really like this one too. I've been known to have really soft skin, but it can get really, really dry and itchy in the winter months. And that's why I keep on hand. And you know, I stress this to my goddaughter and my daughter already know that she got to have like a thick moisturizer for her skin so that she don't break out and start scratching. And we all know that our um, skin, which is the integumentary system, is the first line of defense from infection and opportunity opportunistic infection. So you want to make sure that you use a good moisturizer during the winter. So this is a uh, userin. I use the intensive repair lotion. Here's the thing. Let me school you on some real quick you see how it says light and then it goes all the way down to rich don't get you can get it if you're if you don't really have dry skin like mine but i have super dry skin so i have to keep the rich on hand because it's so thick and moisturizing and it keep me moisturized throughout the day now this is my second jar of the eucerin intensive repair restore radiance essential oil bomb I really like it and the way that I use it is when I first come out of the shower and I dry off but I'm still a little bit moist I will put this on and then pair it with the intensive repair lotion and that's been keeping me really nice and moisturized throughout the day this right here is a life saver it is the aquaphor healing ointment advanced therapy it's for dry and cracked skin let me tell you, I use this for my skin. I, I purchased it for my boyfriend's skin. And actually, he put me on to this because he, he has super dry skin. Um, but this right here makes sure that I'm like, if my back is really dry, I put this on my dry back. I use it on my hands, my feet. And sometimes I even use it on as a facial moisturizer. So, yeah, you can, it tells you here that the, all of different things you can use it for. But I noticed that if you use this all winter long, I know some of you girls got the coins where you can go get your pedicures twice a week or once a month or whatever. But if you use this, you can reduce the amount of times you want to get those pedicures or the amount of time you're in there getting it because they're not scraping all of that horse hoof off the bottom of your feet. I do keep these in travel sizes because I keep one in his car and one in my car too. And that way, you know, when your hands is filled, I hate the the way dry hands feel so I always keep it on on handy it do come all things have an expiration so look at the top guys and that's where you'll find the expiration dates for your ointments and your lotions and things like that over here is the Dr. Teal's uh, on very stressful days I like in very cold days because I notice when it's really super cold outside I have to heat up and I heat up in the tub so I do like to pour a little Epsom salt and I love Dr. Teal's because it comes with the fragrance. Uh, the one that I've been using lately is the lavender scented one but I got the eucalyptus and spearmint and I can't wait to use this one because I, I have never used this type before but I always use the eucalyptus and spearmint from Bath and Body Works their whole aromatherapy set. This is so much cheaper so I want to see if it compares to that. I even found the body scrub so when I give myself a little spa day I'll be using this and um yeah I can't wait to see how what's if, if there's any difference okay next guys I want to show you some of the things that are also winter essentials for me um, the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is Lysol I keep Lysol on deck at all times and one of the reasons why is because it's 99.9% .9%, it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria I like to have it in the car I like to have it in the garage because I do work in the medical field and I like to spray my shoes down because I don't want to bring anything in from work I don't know if you guys saw this one yet um, it is a Clorox it's made from Clorox and it is a laundry and a laundry sanitizer so I mix this with my uh, regular my regular detergents and bleach or whatever I, it's safe for colors brights whites it's, it's just a sanitizer it's not a cleaning agent it sanitizes everything the other thing that I always have to have available and the reason being is if you're sick 
the last thing you want to do is stop at Walgreens or CVS or anywhere to go purchase cold medicine. So I like to have NyQuil available. Uh, you guys, I know you probably don't use NyQuil. Some of you may, but have whatever kind of um, cold or flu medication available for you so that if you do get sick, you don't have to send nobody to the store. You don't have to get up to go get it. It's already available. I love Vixas. I know it's probably some people don't use it, but I've always used it. I put it on my chest. If I feel like I'm getting cold or flu and I get under that cover, I have to take some NyQuil and it's been one. I'm going to make sure that I am protected and safe and I'm not getting no one sick. I keep hauls in my purse. I keep hauls in my desk at work and I keep hauls at home. And the reason being, if I get a scratchy throat or anything like that, I want to reach for this. And nowadays, if you feel like you got a sore throat or whatever, you know it can be a sign of symptoms. So you have to make sure that you are staying away from other people and being six feet apart from anyone. Um, inside my car, I keep hand sanitizer wipes or hand sanitizer gel. I have these in my purse. I have them yeah, you got to keep these around at all times because if you're about to eat food, you want to make sure that your hands are clean and just because you don't see dirt on your hands don't mean that they're not dirty. So to prevent any cold, flu, or any other signs and symptoms of any other respiratory bugs, you want to make sure that you're cleaning your hands really, really well before you eat anything and clean your hands and your clean your kids' hands as well. So how to use these? You're supposed to use them only once, one wipe per person. You can't reuse it. You wipe your hand and keep your hands moist and uh, for at least two minutes with the wipe and you continue to wipe. And with hand sanitizer gel, I don't know if many people know this, but if you're using a hand sanitizer gel, you need to continue to rub and rub your hands until they are completely dry. And that's when you know that they're safe. You're safe to move on to eat or whatever else. So yeah, those are some of my winter uh, favorites and my winter essentials. So here's the next ones. Okay guys, so as you can tell, my next winter essential is these jackets. You know, they came out with these, I wanna say last year. And I'm telling you, I start seeing a lot of the YouTubers wearing them and boy, I couldn't wait to get one. I didn't own one last year, but I did just start going to purchase some. I got this one that I have on, which is my favorite because it's actually very warm and comfortable. And it's not as thin as the other two that I have. But I got this one from Old Navy. And I only paid like $49 for it. It wasn't very expensive at all. And I do believe I had some kind of coupon or something like that. I've worn this one several times. I got it in a large which you know, shackets are pretty much oversized. And this is just super cute. You can wear it with pretty much anything, jeans, you name it. I really like this one. I actually wore this to the Gucci Grand opening in Oak Brook. So it was really nice. Nice and warm. Now this one came from Nordstrom. I got it during the Nordstrom sale. And I think I only paid like 40 bucks for this one too. It's not as thick as the one I got from over at, um, at uh, Old Navy, but I, I do like it. I like the color in this one. I haven't worn this one yet, but I can't wait to. I think I already know what I'm gonna wear with this. This one is really cute. Now this jacket I got is from Dry Goods. I like this one too. The only downfall, this is the one of the most expensive ones. I paid $100 for this one. And the color is, is the bomb. I love it, but it is just not as thick as the other one that I got from Old Navy. And I mean, this is so cute. I wore a, a burgundy top with some jeans and I had some um, thick lug style boots that I wore with this one. Really cute. I really like this one. I just don't think that if I would do it over again, would I buy this one? I would try to buy a thicker one. I did see over at H&M that they had a blue one similar to this, but they had sold out in my size. So yeah, I purchased this one. I really do like this one. I like the, the look of this one. I don't like the fact that it's thin, but it is what it is. I'm glad I did get it. Good, fine. So my next winter essential is my winter coat. I got this coat over at uh, Lululemon. This is a very hot, hot coat <laughs> I mean you need to wear this in the 
Chicago weather. I can see someone in Minnesota, someone in, like uh, Ohio, but, but Michigan. Cities that get really, really cold in the winter. So I would wear this only if it's like seven degrees when the wind chill is negative 15. But yeah, you don't want to go standing outside in something thin like a jacket or even a regular style coat. You want something that's really warm and comfortable. I love the oversized exaggerated hood on this one. If you look, it has, I don't know if you can see it. It has the um, Lululemon logo on it. I think I paid probably about $500 for this winter coat. But I mean, I don't plan on buying another winter coat for some time. But yeah, I like the, the length of this coat. I like that it comes down lower to keep my legs warm. And yeah, it's pretty nice. It is down. It has the suspenders inside to where you can, like if you get too overheated, you can just let the jacket hang. I do like this one. And those are my winter essentials. My favorite winter essentials is this coat. Um, also for the winter, I like to have a variety of boots. I love Ugg boots. As you can tell, I got my blue ones on now. But I can I've purchase several Ugg boots, but I always give them away. But in the event that we have some really cold weather, Christmas decoration falling. So in the event that we have really cold weather and it's snowing, I will pull out my Sorrells. These are so super comfortable. I think I paid $140 for these ones. The, and I had them for a couple years and look how nice the fur still is on them. So I only wear them like when it's snowing. Even with the salt, they still look in perfect shape. Yeah, so I wear these during the winter months. Um, I probably had these until I'm like 80 years old, unless this first start looking like dog hair. But yeah, those are my favorite, favorite, favorite boots for the winter. I'm really glad I purchased those ones. I like to wear the Uggs, like if we're traveling, we go down Southern Illinois to visit family and the Uggs keep your feet warm. Now, if it's snowing, like I said, I'm wearing my Sorrells. Yeah. So everything that I showed you is my winter essentials, things that I must have to make it through the winter. But you know how us girls do, we always go and add a little bit more to our collection. But yeah, I'll make sure that you guys are prepared for the winter and are stocked up with food, maxi pads, anything that you're supposed to have at the winter time. To, so you don't have to go out in the cold and go run and get the stuff. But just don't be underprepared. Just make sure that you're prepared at all times. Emergency preparedness is not just for the, the country and the states. You need to have emergency preparedness for your whole entire life. That way that in the event of an emergency, you don't got to worry about, do I got cold medicine? Or you don't have to have dry and itchy skin. Or you, may, you don't have to go searching for a new coat. You already have those things available. So that's why those are my favorite winter essentials. As always, guys, please like subscribe and add a comment to all the videos that I made. <laughs> Again, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye-bye.